Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And let's crack into another one. TNT, did you see the video online of there's, I guess he's some sort of a investigative journalist confronting the guy who works at Pfizer in a coffee shop? Wow, that was a lot to take in, but no. What, what's the wait, What's the reason that he would want okay. to confront the guy at Pfizer? Okay, so I don't know how, how the video got made, but there's there's a guy who works at Pfizer. I guess he's like a director of some, of some sort, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's somebody has video of him, like a secret video of – and uh, he's talking about in the video. He's like, "Oh, you, I hope you're not recording this." Ha 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 ha. And he's obviously being recorded. He ends he he ends up saying in the video that at Pfizer they're mutating the COVID COVID virus on purpose to create variants to make viruses to make vaccines for. No, he did not. Yes. No. So he so this guy he's eating in a diner. This guy, this guy who works at Pfizer. So this this guy comes in. It's like a ten minute video. You should really watch it. Shut it is up. wild. So so he comes in and the guy, the investigative journalist guy, just sits. He sits right down with like an iPad and he's just like, "Hey, so do you want to tell us why you say that Pfizer is manipulating the COVID virus?" This dude loses his goddamn mind. Like this dude who works at Pfizer. I have never seen someone react this way. He was like, what? what are you doing in here? How dare you? What? Oh, I'm calling the cops. He's what? like, I'm calling the cops. Yeah, right. He goes, <laughs> he goes, I was just, I'm a liar. I was just lying to a date to make him f to impress them or something. Wow. He's like, yeah, but why would you say this? And he was like, get out of here. Da, da, da. And the, the lady oh, goes no. to the restaurants like, sir, can you please leave? And he's like, no, don't let him leave. I'm calling the cops. And like, they lock the they lock the journalist in at one point he grabs Whoa. the ipad he starts smashing it he's pushing people Whoa. like he loses his god yeah because that mind. that's the that's the face of a man who just realized that he let the cat out of the bag and right and everything is he's going to jail yeah you're, like you're going to prison. that that is the reaction of like Oh fuck! I just made the biggest yeah. mistake of my life. I just got caught. Right. That that's the kind oh. of reaction he gave, and I was like, "That's really weird. Like, yeah. why would you act like that if that's not what you're doing? Exactly. Like, if nothing speaks for like your guilt, your guilt in a in a trial, that tape will. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I swear. It, well, and you can watch the video. Uh, it's like a super long video, but they do like a quick like one minute like. Uh, kind of like hit real real fast in the beginning yeah. and then it goes through the whole video so like you can see kind of the highlights of the video oh my dude, god dude it was i was just i was watching it like this man is wiling out like a child right now uh, like, yeah because he knows what's up yeah. he knows what's at stake and uh his and, livelihood his oh, life dude. and like i was like this is really interesting so i i don't i mean i'm not a, a conspiracy theorist no, but like oh man not p funk yeah dude p funk I was like, how is P-Funk out here funking it up like Bruh. a P-Style? Yo, but, that's why I got the Moderna. Yeah, but that is why I think that... Uh, swear that's why I got the Moderna. That, <laughs> I don't know, yeah. But that's why like, I think it's just... it's just. In, I like these investigative in-your-face journalists like this. Bro, more... And, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I was like... Um, I was just like, I can't... I was like, I just couldn't believe it. It was just, it was so, because like you said, like, if you, if your girl accuses you of cheating. Yeah. And you're not cheating. Yeah. You're just going to be like, I'm not cheating. Yeah. And she's going to be like, but I have proof. And you're like, what proof? There's no proof because yeah, I'm not no cheating. Proof. Sorry. But like when they call you out for cheating and you are cheating, but you think they don't have proof. You, you react a lot more yeah. like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. That you're would never crazy. happen. <laughs> Yeah, like, exactly. They're like, this is you sucking on a girl's boob. What are you talking about? That's, that's why. Yeah, like, that's probably that my brother. He looks just like me in the face. Right. It's the people who were the oh. most adamant they didn't do it are usually the ones that are the most guilty. It is so, it, I don't know. It's really crazy that the company who everybody was looking to has received all of these government subsidiaries and was what people looked at as like, you know, they saved they, they yeah. saved us from the pandemic because of their their crack staff of scientists and this doesn't even go out to the scientists unless you know you're one of the scientists working right, on right. the uh the, mutating this virus right so, and this is all conjecture right who knows but 
I mean, bro, <laughs> I don't know. You, I mean, you made it sound convincing, and granted, I haven't seen the video myself. I'm going to check it out. Oh, you have to. It's, but, it's, uh, it's wild, dude. Yeah. But yeah, and I mean, even the allegations alone are enough to just make you like, uh, okay, something's going on here. Why well, would anybody allege that? Here, here's, here was my thought about it. So like, you, so say this, say this is a whole, the same situation. Mm-hmm. But like the guy comes in, he goes, "Hey, we have this video of you like saying this about mutating the virus," and the guy just goes, "I was lying. I was trying to impress a date. Sorry, it's not true." And sat there and talked to him and like, "Yeah, I was just, I was just whatever." This dude's reaction alone, if I was like in the government, would be like, "We should maybe look into this." Oh uh, yeah, and because I'm sure and we should be looking too. We should, it's like opening up a CPS investigation, Children Protective Services. You think something's mm-hmm. wrong with it? You call. You tell them you think something's wrong. Mm-hmm. They decide what to do with the facts. They investigate. They do their thing. I feel like if someone sent this video to the government, they would be like, "Hmm, we should at least probably ask this guy the same questions." You want to know what's really fucked up about this? Now, I just it just like dawned on me while you were telling this story. Why? It's like. Okay, so everybody, you know, Wuhan flu, all right? We're talking about where COVID originated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was from a lab. <clears throat> was from a lab. A lab in China. That's like the conspiracy. In China, right, right. where they were messing around with bacteria. Right. And then bring it over and spread it throughout the world. And what do we do in America? Put it in the lab with a bunch of guys mutating the bacteria. That's why I brought it up. No. Oh, I was like. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's that, um, you know, Pfizer's no better than the Chinese. Is, I guess what I'm saying is like I don't know what it is, what's wrong with these people, but they're just like, hey, you know, let's just mess but, around with this virus yeah, I mean, and make like, it worse there's, there's or make been it labs better. That have been messing with viruses forever. That's how they find. Yeah, but to come out and like admit, even like you know, to anybody, to admit to anybody that 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 you're doing it even with nefarious intent. Even as a lie, when yeah. you work there, even if you're trying to impress a Bro. date, what date? What sort of person? If you went, hey, you know that COVID thing? Yeah, we're manipulating it to keep it going. Oh, really? Yeah, well, that's hot. Oh, well, I can't wait to suck your dick later. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. I mean, way. it doesn't matter that he's he's a he's a gay male, um, and it was like another man. It doesn't matter either way because the man could have said, "I'll suck your dick later." It, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't. <laughs> I mean, that might have been the case. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's like, and you're like, what do they get out of this? What do they get out of it? That's well, like, they get to sell more vaccine. But that's also, well, yeah, that they so they keep making money. But like, what do you get out about saying that lie? Like, I don't know who's going to impress, who's exactly. going to be impressed by that. I, I'm like, so it's, I, and that's why I don't get people who, and that's what he even self, said in the self video. Snitch. People he goes, self snitch. What did he say? He goes, it's like what. And this just shows you how crappy the culture is in America. He goes, that's just what you do. You go out on a date and you lie about yourself trying to impress the other person. I was like, is I mean, that no. what you do? If you look, you work for Pfizer, motherfucker. You already, you're already rich. Yeah, just you take her already, out to your Lamborghini. Oh boy, I'm right. sure she's impressed. Yeah, exactly. You already like have have it going in your favor, exactly. and you're out here trying to lie about stuff that doesn't even matter. Yeah, if you're rich, you don't have to lie. Your money lies for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you just pull out money, and they're like, oh, he must be a nice person. He must be a nice That's person. That's how it works. I'm sorry. For and guys, you funny. have to – If for guys, if you have a lot of money, you're a nice person to girls. And if girls, if you look hot, then you're a nice person to guys. And that couldn't be probably farther from the truth. <laughs> it's really – I mean, like, it does seem that a lot of people normally uh, – it's like – I don't want to say all rich people are dicks, but like <laughs> – no, that's but, yeah. That's but like, be a little generalized. I yeah, but like, it's it, they can come off as very pompous and arrogant sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I come off pompous and arrogant. Yeah, I mean, I, they're I not mean, exempt. I feel you. Like, uh, but I feel like if I had a million dollars, I wouldn't feel any better than anybody else. No, no, absolutely. I would, just, not. I would just be like, I'm able to buy the things I need more than that guy can. Yeah, fair enough. But I guess I'm just I'm more of like a humble and like not like a but braggadocious you, person anyway. So I don't know. Um, I do want to say is that with this, uh, though we make light of it, it's it's got to this be could put, be a really big deal. It's got to be put into perspective that if anybody has passed away or anybody's fallen sick, if you missed hours of fucking work because of some virus that some lab in America was putting out so that they could make more money off a of vaccine. Oh, dude, that dude. would be like that would be. I mean, that's, that'd be a giant scandal. Ex- I it's mean, not a. It's not a scandal. It's it's what's it's bigger straight than a, up. It's, it's straight up fucking evil. It's evil. Yeah, this is Cobra Commander type. It's like shit. Uh, it's like the 2008 
financial crisis evil like just like yeah. doing manipulating shit to ruin people's 401ks and investments yeah. and like it's, it's but it's with people's health it's not just their money I what's worth screwing with someone's money or screwing with someone's health like i said Pro anybody lost a life from yeah, from like, a from a lab created in america lab created virus so that you could make more money from selling a vaccine then that you, doesn't even like complete you from getting it <laughs> that you're scum dude and that, that's that's fucking disgusting i hope that the allegations are not true but i can guarantee I, like, you after this video i swear yeah. I, you FDA gotta watch is gonna be first. looking into it yeah yeah so anyways that's all time we have today's episode go to the crazy town.com you if you want to look this up the guy's name is james o'keefe with a k and uh it's james o'keefe and it just put i would say F pfizer and i'm sure the video will pop up so Check it out. At least watch the first minute or two. It's it's wild. Uh, for Jonas. I'm disgusted. TNT. Oh, we out.